The most obvious change, all the workers counting ballots will now have to wear masks. So too will any voters coming to the office, and sanitation has been stepped up as well. We have hand sanitizer, we have temperature checks. But the most notable change, the layout in the election center. The first big challenge is simply just uh, being able to spread our employees out far enough to practice social distancing. So right now, we are a sea of tables and plexiglass. But the space you're seeing now won't be available to ballot counters come election day. Only a handful of voters usually come to the office to vote in person, but they're expecting enough that the small office currently housing those voting stations won't be sufficient. So they'll be moved to the back room, meaning not as many workers can be counting at once. It will slow us down on Tuesday for ballot tabulation. So numbers might be coming in a little slower. So too made the ballots themselves. Underfunding of the post office and new policies from the Trump administration have caused mail service nationwide to slow down. Luckily for Washington voters, any ballot postmarked by Tuesday, August 4th will count, meaning it just needs to reach an open post office by election day, not the elections office. They will keep counting ballots for two weeks before they certify the election. We have more than enough time for envelopes to get here. Plus, ballots naturally are a priority to USPS. Any absentee or vote by mail envelope envelope is identified with a logo. And this is across the entire United States, not just Washington. So the Postal Service knows that that's a ballot, and the Postal Service makes every effort to move that mail faster than anything else. In Spokane, Casey Decker, Krem2 News.